evening. It's Ask the Author Friday. I'm Ken Springley, local South Haven self-published author. Um, Ask the Author Friday is my uh, weekly opportunity to have a little fireside chat with you all. And um, that's about it. If you guys like this content, feel free to subscribe. If you have questions for future weeks, feel free to hit the comment section. Let's go. Let's do this. Mother's Day. Mother. The, um, the difference between a mother and a uh, birthing person is that the mother hangs around and at least tries her best to be a nurturing presence, a caregiver, and, and wise counsel. That is who Mother's Day should be should celebrate. Be it the birth mothers, the grandmothers, the aunts, or those who really just step up to the role of mother. That's who should have been celebrated last weekend. What are you reading right now? I am finally trying to read the Bible. Plus, I'm reading... I am reading Losing Joe's Place yet again for maybe the 30th time. My, one of my favorite books as a young adult, and it's become a, my summer reading material. What is probably the hardest part of editing? <sighs> Proofreading your own work through and proofreading your own work through an outside observer's eye. So many mistakes that I miss simply because I read it correctly in my head and cannot see what's on the page. Imaginary friends. Most children have imaginary friends. Then you become an adult and you realize that maybe 90% of your acquaintances you only imagined would be in your corner as friends when the times got tough. That's all I'm going to say. You are the villain in your story. You are the antagonist. Oh, we're all the villain in someone's story, aren't we? No, just kidding. Um, me as the antagonist. Okay. Um, disenfranchised hero and a mouthpiece for destructive rabble. Okay. <laughs> there, there, there's your novel for you. He's a, he's a 10, but he's a 10, but he rates himself too highly. He's a 10, but he's constantly the butt of the joke. He's a 10, but he can't read the room. He's a 10, but...
he's a 10 but so is his volume at some of the least opportune times He's a 10, but he won't simply just listen to music when he can when he can belt along to an MP3 player that no one else is supposed to be able to hear as he's walking along. He's a 10, but he simply can't type a password or spin a locker combination without muttering the the keys to himself out loud. He's a 10, but he's way too socially awkward to be a functioning adult. Rate your level of social awkwardness. Rate my level of social awkwardness. This has been Ask the Author Friday. If you have any questions for future weeks, feel free to hit the comment section. If you enjoy this content, feel free to subscribe. Stay safe out there. See you soon.